Hi guys, let's take a look at this question where a learner investigated the relationship between the observed frequency and the frequency of sound waves emitted by a stationary source. The learner is moving towards that source at a constant velocity and records the observed frequency for a given source frequency. The process is repeated for different frequencies of the source with the learner moving at the same constant velocity each time. The graph below shows how the observed frequency changes as the frequency of waves emitted by the source changes. 6.1. Name the phenomenon illustrated by the graph and that is the Doppler effect. 6.2. Name one application in the medical field of this phenomenon. So in the medical field, uh, measurement of blood flow. So measurement of blood flow, uh, the movement or the measurement, sorry, the measurement of a fetal So I would just remember the measurement of the blood flow in the medical field. 6.3. Write down the type of proportionality that exists between the frequency observed by the listener and the frequency of a given source as illustrated by the graph. So you can see that they are directly proportional. So I would write directly proportional. So you can either write it like that or you could say FL directly proportional to FS. Okay. Then they say, the gradient of the graph is 1,06. If the speed of the sound of air is 340 meters per second, or 340 meters per second, calculate the magnitude of the velocity at which the learner approaches the source. So I'm just going to maybe jot it down here at the bottom, 6.4. So I'm going to write down my trusty calculation, which is that. So we will have this. I'm just going to write down my formula because I do get a, a mark for the formula. So I'm just going to write it down. I want that on the opposite side. So I'm going to divide FL by FS. I'm just going to rewrite it because that is the gradient. They want the gradient, which is FL over FS. So they've given it to us as 1,06. They've given us the speed of air, which is 340. We want the velocity at which the learner approaches the source. So that's what we want. Then again, the speed of air and the velocity of the source. The source isn't moving, the source is stationary, so that is zero. So I put that into my calculate. Uh, I do my math magic and I get my velocity of, at which the learner approaches the source to be 20,4 meters per second. Okay. Then the investigate sorry the investigation is now repeated with the learner moving at a higher constant velocity towards the sound source we're going to copy this graph in our answer book and label it as a so this will be our a and then they ask us on the same axis to sketch the graph that will be obtained when the learner moves at that higher velocity so it's literally just going to be a line that is higher than a and you'll label it b and you get two marks for that all right guys and that is it See ya.